Hello guys, welcome back to Paper Sperm. Today, I'll be teaching you something new. It's the box plea model, actually. It's really cool. Move the mic on this out of the way. So, it is a praying mantis. It's pretty cool. It's not really complex, but still pretty hard. So, it will take some box pleading, which, which if you're new to it, it basically means you make a grid and a bunch of 45 degree angle creases, then you collapse it with a lot of box, with a lot of complex things like pleat sinking. So, you're going to start by making a 32 by 32 grid. To do that, we're going to start, oh, let me turn the light on, and... And a bit more. Um, maybe. Okay. Start by folding in half. I'm going to be using a 35 by 35 centimeter um, paper or around 14.8 by 13.8 inches. Then rotate. So once you make that fold in half, you're gonna um fold up to that crease. And unfold. Now rotate nine degrees and repeat. This is an intermediate model. It's 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 not as hard as the ancient dragon, or but it's harder than the empress bird. I meant to rate that intermediate, but I made a mistake, and now ever now everyone knows about it. So, by the way, can you help me reach? I have two goals for myself, and I need you to help me reach them. I'm, I'm, my goal right now, is, I can't. Remember, I didn't count, but we have seventeen or eighteen subscribers right now. I'm trying to hit twenty five. Sorry, twenty subscribers by June, and right now is January thirtieth. 2021. Okay, now rotate 90 degrees and fold the quarter, sorry, the edge to the middle, making the quarter. Unfold. Now, huh, okay, one sec. Now, fold the edge to the first grace. Then fold the same edge to the last crease, or two creases further down. You gotta remember that two creases further down. Unfold. Now fold. Now I'm going to see repeat. By the way, my other goal. It, well, I have a video. My most popular video is the Dragon Scales Tessellation tutorial, and feel free to go watch that. Um, but Basically, the whack, I'm trying to make it, um, I'm trying to get 100 views by the same time period, June, which is going to be pretty simple at the rate it's grown. So please, please go over and watch that. Oh, if you're wondering, I got this paper from Amazon, from Taro's Origami Studio. 30 by 35 centimeter papers, and this is moss green. We're at 9 degrees. Do the eighths. And fold. There's many different ways to make a grid. So, I'm going to show you one method. That Another method I made up. So, fold the edge, the raw edge, to the first grease. First origami insect that actually looks good that I designed. I designed um without knowing how to fold it again. I designed where are you? Um, I know I designed a beetle. I'm trying to find it. Um, yeah, I'll should I'll figure out where that is later. Anywho, you're gonna make sixteenths. Which is every two creases you make a crease. 
Now remember that these we're going to be making a lot more sixteenths. And yes, we're making 30, a 32 by 32 grid. And no, we're not done. We're not making a 16 by 16 grid. That'd be too lame and it wouldn't be able to fit this. For a praying mantis, this, that, like this. And this detailed, you're going to need a 32 by 32 grid. Now, unfold. And fold along the first grid, the first existing crease, the one closest to the edge, closest to you. And then fold the raw edge to the, or the to the edge closer to you, closest to you. Then what you're gonna do? You're gonna fold um. Then you're gonna fold along the next crease and fold the edge back down. You're gonna repeat this as far as you can go, which means all the way up to the halfway crease. And by the way, yes, this is one thirty second. By the way, this took a lot of work and probably an hour to make. And this video will be, will be this video will be shorter because. I am a bit more confident in these notes to do, but um, still, this video took a lot of work. Please consider subscribing. That I mean, I don't really care. I my point of these videos is to make sure people enjoy origami for all ages. But still, I need these videos to spread. So feel free to um um so subscribe if you want. You don't have to. I just I don't really prefer one or the other, but. Um, it would be nice to help support my channel. By the way, if you're watching this, then it's probably a premiere. So... Um, make sure to be nice in the live chat. This is going to be like, I'm using the strategy to make it get more views because of the dragon skills tessellation I designed. That got a lot of views and I'm guessing, I don't know why, but I'm guessing it's because of the, um, not because of this time, maybe it is, but because of the premiere. Okay, now we're going to just fix it up and completely unfold. So, make sure you don't rip the layers. Just carefully unfold. Then, rotate 90 degrees and repeat. But first, you should make sure that you have good creases. So, So just edit them a bit, kind of alter them so that they look good. Now we're at 200 degrees. And we're gonna finish making the eggs. Once and for all. Yes, eights are boring. You can't do much with an eight by eight grid. But there's one model that is real the I think the coolest model you can do with an eight by eight grid is is either a herringbone translation or a hydrangea. Probably a hydrangea. Hydrangeas are pretty cool. I, of course, I won't be making, I wish, I wish I could, but unless I get in contact with Shusa Fujimoto, I won't be able to um, make a tutorial for my cro profile picture, which is uh, Hydrangea Tiles. It would, not only would the video take like four hours, but also I need Shusa Fujimoto's permission to make it. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I really wanted to show you guys this is an insanely super cool model. It's unbelievable, super cool, outrageous, and amazing. <laughs> By the way, one if this video hits five likes, I will um I will try to I'll I'll try to get my parents to um I'll, once my parents will allow me I'll make a live stream of the, of a cool model. Yeah, 
unfold and do the accordion. Oops, did I get here because that's no. So raw edge, making the mount unfold. Like I said in my other video, origami is not exact is never about like showing off or seeing how good of something you can make. You should know that if you're watching my videos. If um if you think that then you're wrong. Origami is, is not about how hard you can make something or how beautiful it looks, it's about enjoying it and giving and giving it to people to show to as kindness. That's what I think it's about. But Origami isn't just, isn't like supposed to be a competition or something, it's just a hobby. If I entered an origami competition, I probably would never win. I never, I'm designed to be really complex models. But, um, if I did, I still wouldn't do very well because I don't believe in competition for origami. I believe that everyone should, that everyone should just try their best and that's what matters. Hopefully you don't disagree with me. Come on. So make me stir off one sec. minutes in. I'm still making the grid unfortunately. I tried to show everything. Well not perfect but unless I'm like making uh unless I'm like making a really call no unless I'm actually making a time lapse I don't believe in like fast forwarding. No matter how much space it takes up I believe that what's the it's the right thing to like show you the whole thing. That way it not only does it make a better time lapse, but it also um <clears throat> it also lets you guys see the whole thing. So that way if you missed it, you don't have to rewind, you can just see it. Most orgamists actually don't do that, unfortunately. But one orgamist who never um fast forwards, which is really nice, is Mariana Zavala. Hopefully uh, I don't think you're watching it, but if you are, um I thank you for um, being a great tutorial maker and teaching me the ancient dragon, which I actually learned. So I'm really proud of that. Of right now making an ancient, I have one ancient dragon myself. Oh, by the way, we're, we're done the eighths, so we can just make sixteenths, and then we make the thirty seconds. So um, basically um, basically. I made an ancient dragon for myself, an ancient dragon for a friend, which I already bring it over, and I'm working on another ancient dragon for a third, for a second friend, who actually does not work on me with me. Oh, by the way, if you have, if you're watching this video, make sure to subscribe to Mariana Zavala. This is great tutorials, and he's really talented, and does a great job explaining it, even though he doesn't talk at all. It's a great, it's a great, it's a great way to learn. Easy to hard work on me. So go over there and check it out. Okay. Now unfold, and you know it. You guessed it. Do the accordion. Well, um, this is a pretty cool model. I don't have much to say besides 
that Taro Origami Studio paper is really high quality. I recommend getting it. The thing is, it's only it's only it's the only shop it's sold on besides Taro's, or, Taro's Origami Studio is at Amazon. But toilet paper is pretty good too from Amazon Origami Shop. Pretty much anywhere you can find it, any any shop that sells origami paper, pretty much. Well, most of them. Toyo is pretty high tech, mm, high quality is what I meant to say, paper. Hope you don't get mad at me. I'm giving a few channels a shout out because they really, if you're, if you're watching my videos, you should probably be watching theirs too. And to be honest, I couldn't have done this without, um, Without the, um, what was I going to say? I couldn't have done this without Origami by Boyce. He, um, he's the one who made the tutorial on box pleating, and I, and I had no clue how to do it, and no idea what box pleating was until I watched his, um, Origami box pleating, or Origami design class, or whatever it's called. And, um, I really liked it, so if you want to learn about how to design origamis like this, make sure to go over there and subscribe to him. Soon I'll be go. Soon I'll actually no. Soon I yeah yes. Soon I'll be making a origami design class. But um. Ugh. Oops! Come on! Come on! Be with me, paper. Come on, be. Help! Help me! Come on! Okay, cool. I think I got it. Paper's not really behaving. Or paper's not being good, a good, good boy. Yeah, besides the grid, the pre creasing's pretty. Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple and small, easy, the, the pre creasing. One sec. Remember, add your pieces so that they look good. Now, we're 59 degrees and repeating. This is the last side before we go to the diagonal creases. Oh, and a lot of people ask me, um, how did I start origami? I'll explain that. My origami story, if you want to hear, hopefully you do, is, um, what all started back when I was about to go into kindergarten, actually. Right now I'm in sixth grade, so I've been doing, and it's, it's like I said, it's January 30th. So I have new origami for around six and a half years, hopefully seven soon. But the point is, Start to all with, I'll start with paper airplanes. And I actually was the worst in my class. I had to kept forgetting. I always was trying to learn. I was trying to figure them out. I kept asking for more help. Trying to make paper airplanes. And then something just clicked. I started designing my own paper airplanes. I learned more hard things. And then one day in second grade, we did my school did this thing called the swap shop. And um Back back then, before it was COVID, um, we would we would um basically get fake money to simplify it, and um and, and we spend it at and we make things and spend it to get each other's. So basically, um, 
So basically, um, it's pretty simple what happens. We just, um, I, um, I sold paper airplanes and my friends sold other work on me. We were working together to, as our own shop. And we, um, and so my paper airplanes were doing that well. So my friends, who, one of my friends who did an origami, like normal origami, even though paper airplanes are folding paper technically, um, they would, um, they, I asked them, how do you do this? And they would teach me. And of course, as everyone did, I started with a crayon. So that's where I started, and where's my way up from there? Oops, sorry. Um, <coughs> but I did not, nothing. I started to have models by third grade, like a dragon. I've designed, I in fourth grade, I designed this, but which I made tutorial, um, in, which I made tutorial on this in this channel. But the thing is, is that um, I um, unfortunately, I didn't really get really excel i didn't really excel at it until i until the pandemic started when yes i'm gonna recommend another channel happyfolding.com i heard about them and i watched some of their videos and i was like hmm let me try some stuff so i watched their hydrangea video and i tried it and it worked out well so i um once i finished the hydrangea i was pretty good at it and that was the first origami that started in my um new origami era or as i call it i um as i like to say i unlocked my true origami self and then ever si and then i went another step ahead when i was um when, around june this last year when i was um when i started designing my own models and i designed a viking helmet and a bee the bee i don't really remember how to make and it wasn't that good anyways but basically that's about it um and basically one more piece and we are done the grid thankfully <laughs> let me line up your crease as well and hopefully this works out well and it unfolds Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna do some pre-creasing besides the grid. The grid I think doesn't count as pre-creasing. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold four up like this. So you're gonna fold, fold four lines up and fold the green edge on each side to where the green and the white meet or the color and the white meet i don't recommend using this with the green paper that way it looks good i only made i only use it with printer paper because i felt like it and it was simple okay now unfold and then rotate 180 degrees and repeat We should do both sides. I totally forgot. I admit it. Okay, unfold. Now, pull the edge to where this V ends. So, right over here. Which is also the three quarter mark. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold the half of the green, sorry, a third of the green, or just fold the, the green up to this point, and fold it onto that crease that goes to the other side. Now repeat on the other side. Now, repeat on 180 degrees again and repeat. You guessed it. There's a lot. This model's completely symmetrical. Mostly. Well, I guess it's symmetrical in one direction. It's not section symmetrical in two directions because, well, it's not tessellation, but also, well, most of I don't mean not all tessellations are symmetrical. Like, my dragon's supposed to be symmetrical both all the way. But the point is, it, um, 
the um, as you can see, the praying mantis definitely isn't symmetrical because this is not the same as this, obviously. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you are going to fold in half. Actually, no. Fold along the quarter crease, so where the two triangle to the to the two triangles meet. The first two triangles meet. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna align this edge with the cre the crease the the vertical crease that 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 hits the point where the triangle ends. Yeah. So like this. All the way so that it makes a square not all the way all the way to this point this edge okay let me make sure it's still good okay now go. fold that again and repeat on the other side this metal is pretty cool. It's pretty symmetrical. I think you'll find that pretty satisfying. This is pretty a lot. I don't know why. Now, rotate 180 degrees and repeat on this side. I know this is repeat a lot. Well, you have to. Okay, one second. Let me see. Okay, cool. Okay, now, what you're going to do. One sec. As you guessed it, like I said, and I fold the points together. Just make sure the layers don't slide. And fold. Just check it in between. Oh, careful not to rip it. By the way, I'm not going to say this here in the video, but you can guess it. It's definitely not for beginners. To be honest, I would have barely been able to do this if I was um, if I was taught this versus designed it. I'd say I recommend having at least five years of experience in origami and at least one year of experience in box pleating to do this. Okay, and now you're done the pre reason So, I'm going to zoom in. What you're gonna start by doing is you're gonna turn over so it's green or color side up, I should say. And you're gonna go and you're gonna pinch the edges together on the first line, the first crease. And repeat. And you're basically gonna make it go all the way until it hits um oops. Okay, so you're gonna make it go all the way until it hits the diagonal crease, which it means it's gonna go up again. So it makes this shape. Oops, my Mac's trying to turn off. Now, you're gonna, um, and then it's gonna go, sorry, it's gonna fold again like this. So basically, let me show that again. We're basically gonna make accordions into a square. And then, you're gonna um, basically make the flaps here. Let me just show you, I don't know how to explain it well. So I'm afraid I'm gonna throw you off track if I tried to explain it through words. Sorry, I just I'm not very experienced in this. It's gonna look like that. Zoom 
out so it's easier to see. Okay, one sec. Made a mistake, I think. Could be wrong. No, I didn't make a mistake. Just did two. Okay, so now. Oops, Matt's trying to turn off again. So we're basically going to do this. Okay, there we go. Now, we're going to repeat that. See, it's not that bad. Okay, now, we're basically going to keep repeating that. And you're basically going to make another square. You know, I'm just going to stop talking and shut up. Throwing you off. Hmm. One sec. Let me think about this a bit. I think I might have done something wrong. Uh, okay, one sec. One sec. Okay, got it. Just made a bit of a mistake, that's all. Everyone makes mistakes, right? Please forgive me. In my own model. Oh. Sorry, my camera thought I was this in. Okay, we're not going to pull it plastic because it won't be able to. Because we have this point sticking up. But basically, it's going to look like this. Okay, now, if, sorry, set it down and repeat on this side. So, you're going to make the pinch, 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 as some people would say. And keep making those diagonals. And this is going to fold along the halfway crease all the way there. all the way back around. Make a full loop. Okay, 
one sec. It's basically, you're going to make sure you take your time and stay calm. It's very important. it together. There's only one side done, but you can still collapse it to strengthen the creases and keep them full and strong. So basically, you're going to just fold it together. Just kind of crush it together. Yeah, crush, swish, collapse, flatten, whatever you want to call it. I think the word crush sounds cool, but I'm not like crumpling the paper exactly either. Come on. <sighs> and I'm starting all over again. I'm just kidding. No, I would I hope not. I'm not. Just try your best. repeat on the other side. Just make sure this flattens well. Come on. All of my directions. Got it. Okay, I figured it out. Figured out what was going wrong. I just made a few creases wrong. That's all. Well, now I know for next time. Okay, now we can collapse it. Or flatten it. And we have this. Now all you have to do is repeat it on the other side. And then we'll start with the shaping. And so a few extra creases, of course. So now we're going to start that over again. And I think you know what to do now.
make sure Mac doesn't turn off. That's very important. That's crucial. Actually, crucial. When you're making a video, you don't want your camera to turn off. Or your computer you're filming it on. Man, that was much quicker. Wrong as usual. Uh, okay. Make sure my Mac doesn't turn off again. <sighs> Not again. Almost there. I know this is her collapse. I'm here with you. All we have to do is repeat on the, la the last side, the last corner, and we will be able to finish it. Well, not completely finish it, of course. We gotta do the few creases after the flaps, but still. We don't show it that well. I don't have a great camera view. And it's best to have the paper closest to me. That should be better. There we go. That must be easier to see. Good. Where is it? Here. That's what I like to see. I know it. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. I'll try my best. Sorry, guys. Nothing's perfect, right? Let's see, you agree with me.
Now we're going to simply finish it. So just squish it together, crush it together along the existing creases we just made. Glass we just did. By the way, mock cleaning is a great way to make um, flaps. That's why I'm using it because we need a lot of flaps and it's not very easy to get them another way. There's basically little t t sticks or types. It's hard to explain, but little slabs of paper that stick out on the ends. That's a flap. Some flaps are big, some flaps are small. But the point is, we're going to collapse it, if that makes sense. Make sure you just fold it well. And it should look the base should look like this. Now what we're going to do, we're going to fold this down. That way, we have the legs. We're going to fold two of them up. Okay, so we have the legs. Now what we're going to do, actually, sorry, I got confused. We're not going to fold this up yet. What you're going to do, you're going to fold it in half. Don't exactly fold it and try to flatten it just let it hang out then fold the crease through the edge to the third crease sorry, yeah the third grid square unfold now you're gonna make a bit of a you're gonna make a bit of a reverse fold you're gonna go along the crease the, the middle crease it up come on why are you working on me and push it in so like that and swish it together now you can flatten it Or you can just hold it in the air, whatever is easier. I'm gonna try to collapse it. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, fold the um, black, you, the level shifter you just made, or I don't know if it's level shifter, whatever it is, in half. I think it's a level shifter. I don't know much about level shifters. Unfold and make that a sink. Whatever is this works best. And then squish it. I know I like saying squish a lot, I do. Make sure it doesn't turn off. 
we should go along with the increases you just made, not the existing ones, or the close, or the old ones. Okay, you did that. lot of time as you can tell you gotta be very very patient and have a full bucket <sighs> it's really frustrating how did you do this me in the past uh -huh. I'm gonna repeat on the other side come on uh -huh. Now fold it up. That's what I meant to do now. Okay, if it does this, not a big deal. Now, we're almost done actually, believe it or not. Now, you're gonna fold the legs out. Collapsed right. You can fold them out. And repeat on this side. What is that high pitch noise? Sorry, I'm hearing something. I'm hearing things again. You can walk like this. That's the legs. Well, I can pinch them a bit to shape them. I don't really like shaping them. I think it's good the way it is. Well, I'm not great at shaping, to be honest. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to turn it back over. We're going to make a, another, believe it or not, another box pleat. You're going to basically just do it. It's pretty simple. Just do it reversing creases. It's not that hard. So this is a simple one. your time so I need to tell myself okay so you're gonna have the two praying arms now you're going to try to lock them together by folding them. If you want, you can do it. You can just kind of shape it a bit. 
I don't like to. Now we're almost done. We just have to shape it a bit more. With the eyes. Now, let me just screw this up a bit. Now the final step is to um, open this up and make a dent in it. Just make the wings. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.